Well, right now we're on a tech talk on intelligent automation, the power of AI and RPA. We've got with us Sumit Patak, Digital Workforce Evangelist, IMEA, Automation Anywhere. Well, Sumit has 20 years of experience in top tier global banks. Over the course of his career, Sumit has led major functions and projects covering financial, digital, core banking products with teams spread across multiple geographies. An avowed uh, evangelist of software automation, Sumit has led implementing automation strategy and execution in finance industry. And Sumit has built the automation uh, COES in multiple banks and is a thought leader in the field of intelligent automation. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now it is time to call upon Sumit Patak on the stage. Over to you, Sumit. Thank you, Bhavan. Am I audible? And yes, please. That yes, great. very much. So thank you for the introduction. <laughs> uh, let me uh, just share my screen. And if you can just tell me it's all visible, that would be great, OK? Uh, there we go. Sure. Okay, good? Thank you. Thank you. So uh, before I get into it, really interesting session before this, you know, some very uh, interesting questions were asked and I learned as well as a result of it. So uh, now focusing on this session, um, the idea is to talk about how in the corporate world we are using uh, technologies like RPA and artificial intelligence to help augment the human capacity. It's all about keeping the humans in the center and how intelligent automation is helping. So I've got 15 minutes, so let me get into the presentation and try to cover as many points as I can. Give me a second. Thank you. So uh, before I start, a uh, quick introduction about Automation Anywhere as a company. It's a 16 year old company, uh, which is based out of the US. Uh, and uh, it's been voted as a leader number one by all different uh, analyst firm. Uh, recently, Gartner, uh, which I'm very proud of actually, uh, this particular point, the Gartner uh, voted it as a leader for completeness of vision. And that's quite important when you are embarking on your automation journey. Uh, it's very important to see that how holistically automation can be deployed to help to transform the organization. And a couple of more stats here, which I uh, would like to highlight, 2.4 million digital workers. And I will explain what that is fr uh, from intelligent automation parallels perspective and also 4,000 plus enterprise customers. So. Uh, and uh, so what it means in terms of us learning and putting that learning out there for our customers so they can get benefited out of it. So let me just get straight into uh, one of the research which we recently did as a result of these webinars, which we have been doing since the pandemic has been brought upon us. We had an opportunity to reach out to some 5,000 plus executives to understand that how uh, rather what's going through their mind. So many of these organizations had already started their automation journey. Some of them were on the fence. So what's occupying their mind and four major themes which came out that they, the organization wants continuous digitization, enhanced productivity is the key, acceleration of automation and then upskill of workforce. So that, these are the four major points which were occupying their share of mind. So, but how, what does it mean and how do we get there? So if I can double click on this and zoom in further, what it means is that the, the top strategic priority for those who basically responded to this survey is, are looking at reducing of the operational cost and increasing productivity. And I'm not surprised, it goes hand in hand, right? So how do you basically do more with less? How do you keep your cost pace same? And then you do more, you respond to new type of queries. You have to prepare your staff in doing so by creating that particular capacity, right? But to build the resilience from the outside influences like today, the pandemic tomorrow could be some natural uh, you know, calamity, God forbid. Uh, so how do you ensure that, that your organization continue to run, doesn't matter or in whichever situation or the, or the, uh, or the difficult conditions we are in. So that's that, but what technology, which technology will help them to achieve that? If you go to uh, you know, the, the picture number two on the top right, uh, RPA in, and intelligent automation plus machine learning. So I would combine that together. So around 64%, you know, uh, 60 to 64% are looking at these technologies, which is the fundamental blocks of intelligent automation as well, right? And that's where they want to embrace that or those, those ones who have already are using this want to go further deeper to provide 
the uh, you know the the outcome of what you're seeing on on picture number one, which is reduce operational cost and increase productivity. And third, uh, which is on the bottom right, is about the uh, the workforce. So it has become very important that as result of COVID, the workforce is reshaping, and so is the need to continue upskill yourself, right? And again, the technologies which we are seeing where organizations are focusing is RPA, AI, ML, and uh, data analytics. So just wanted to start my presentation by having that particular picture. Uh, I believe that you are able to resonate uh, with this, relate with this, or maybe your organization as well is going through this thing. Maybe as an individual, you're going through this thing as, a, uh, as well, right? So just wanted to set the context. But this is great. We know that uh, you know this is required. So how uh, how do we get there? And this is where the digital workforce comes into picture. See, fundamentally, any processes which we believe has got six to seven parts, right? Either we are the data capturing. Once you've captured it, you are adding more information to enrich it to make more sense. You validate the information to make sure that this data which is coming through is okay. You process it. Once it has been processed, the output is then reconciled with input to make sure input output is correct. And then you analyze and report it to ensure that you know that okay, it is going and presenting to the stakeholders to whom it needs to be. And then continue support. So any processes doesn't matter which part of the industry you're in, or doesn't matter which part within the organization you would be predominantly doing these things. So how do we make these processes more smarter with help of uh, intelligent automation? And that's where we come with these four or five boxes, which are the fundamental foundation for the digital worker, which I spoke about at the start of the session around 2.4 million digital workers we have. See, we believe that uh, you know it's really important from uh, the intelligent automation perspective to look for the right opportunities to automate. Many a times we go and we, we do something which is very complex because that's causing us the maximum challenges. Well, you'll be surprised to hear that the most complex process, you have to break it down and the complex part of that should be done by the humans and not by the bot. The bot should basically help you in creating more time and capacity so that humans can go and look on that particular complex process. Yes, everything else should be automated, right? So discovery bot, actually helps you to identify those opportunities. It creates that particular smarter flow, a happy path by collating data from three, four different processes who are doing the same process, bringing it together in a very pictorial view, identifying which steps to automate, and then taking to an extent right, uh, where you can, it is almost production ready, you need to still do some uh, testing and, and put some complex conditions in it, but it enables you right from the discovery to the, to the deployment. And then you go from uh, the combination of, you know, uh, RPA, IQ bots, bot insights, and bot store, which I will cover subsequently. But the highlight of this particular slide I wanted to uh, have is that the processes, predominantly the anatomy is the same, and then you apply an overlay of digital worker to help you to make these processes more smarter with help of discovery, cognitive automation, IQ bots, uh, which, is, which is cognitive RPA, and also insights. So if I, if I zoom further, uh, what you see here is the bit more explanation of what these four boxes are, how the, or the anatomy of digital workforce. I've already covered digital, you know, discovery bot, which helps you to identify the right processes. Uh, second is the combination of green and uh, orange box, which is the green one is your robotic process automation, which is your logical bot. Uh, this uh, technology is used where you've got large number of volumes uh, to process and which is low value activity. It could be you know, uh, connecting uh, or downloading the data from an Excel spreadsheet, from an email, and then uploading it to somewhere else. Right? It's about connecting the dis, you know, disconnected applications from the presentation layer. So it is very fast, right? And because of that, it could be used and seamlessly on all those activities, which does not require too much of thinking They're logical in nature. You design them and you go for it. It can be done in the attended automation and unattended automation. Unattended automation is nothing but you know you can trigger these bots, you can schedule them, you can do them. You know uh, activity based. So while you're sleeping at home, these bots are working for you. And when you come in the morning, all of those high you know uh, high volume, low value activities already automated, right? And that's what attended unattended bot does. Attended bot is more towards working collaboratively with the humans sharing the same screen space, 
helping them to bring the information, taking action on their behalf so that you are able to focus on the real value of that activity you're doing. For example, you're in a call center, you have to, the, the most valuable thing which you can do in a call center is to interact with the customer. So the bot will work with you to take away that particular activity where you have to toggle between the screens, get the details, upload the actions which are coming from the uh, from your customer. It will take care of all of that steps and enable you to focus on the engaging with the customer and providing a, uh, the first call closure or a great customer experience or more time so you can cross sell the activity. If you look at the orange box, it's IQ bot, it's a cognitive automation. Uh, it's, uh, we believe that 80% of the data is unstructured, right? Uh, and it's very important that unstructured data gets automated as well because that's where the maximum heavy lifting takes place. You get a uh, you know, lot of documents, uh, a lot of paper heavy processes are there, right? How do you basically extract the data, capture the structured unstructured data, could be in the digital format, could be a scanned copy, make the sense of data learn it, retain it, and reapply, right? Could be invoice processing, could be payroll processing, could be looking at the contracts, right? Taking some conditions out. So how do you uh, deal with these unstructured data, make sense of it? And the most important part is that it's not only about OCR extracting and, and uh, the information, it's about clearing the information so the extraction is good, the accuracy is high. You extract it, you learn, you retain it, and next time and similar sort of information comes, so you reapply, right? So you combine that with RPA, it's a force to reckon with, right? So that's very important. It basically helps you to automate the entire value chain. And then comes your bot insight, which is your smart analytics. See, I'm a, I'm a great believer that if it, you know, if it cannot get measured, that's, that's as good as not getting done. So it's, uh, you know, you have to have the capability of measuring and monitoring like you have for human workforce, there are KPIs, there's a way to track the progress. Same thing with the digital worker or the, or the bots. There has to be a way to see what data they are processed accurately, what business value has come through. The bot insights provide you with that particular uh, ability. So it's again, you know, it's taking, it's enabling the organization right from identification of the opportunity to the deployment and then thereafter monitoring. So the entire value chain uh, should get automated to provide the uh, real uh, impact in your automation journey. Right. I'll give you examples just so that you can relate better. So order to cash, P2P, plan to build, uh, market to service, I to retire. Uh, just have taken some examples, right? All these examples are industry agnostic. That's why I've taken like order management. PO processing is a very, very uh, uh, common process which gets automated. Supplier onboarding, we have seen the spike in that because of pandemic where you have to reach out to new suppliers for new requests which are coming through, right? And with the, with the workforce being distributed, we have been, uh, digital workers have come through to help. Right? Invoice payments is another one. So, and then it could be in finance and accounting, reporting and compliance management. All of these areas can are really odd beds or are really breeding grounds for automation. If I go a bit more deeper, you know, this again, uh, all these processes are again industry agnostic. You can automated processes like an IT with the help desk support, a new online application form. It's, it's about doing the first call support as well. For example, your printer is not working. Uh, you reach out to the IT help desk, they can execute the bot so that the bot can do the first configuration check rather than employees getting involved and they take care of the complex processes, right? So all of that can be done with the help of uh, automation. HR, onboarding, employee communication, understanding the mood of the employee. When you get the emails, you can basically apply the NLG along with the IQ bots and understand whether the, the emails which have come through, which uh, emotions they are playing with. Is, it, is the staff irate, happy or not? And then you can take you know, more prompt action on it, right? And then supply chain, as we spoke about, just in case and just in time delivery. How do you ensure that you're keeping the SKUs? How do you ensure that there's a smarter management in terms of you know uh, ordering the goods as soon as you get to know that they're reaching a particular low level of threshold, right? So all of that can be executed with help of the bots. Uh, so while I've given you examples of uh, you know uh, the corporate functions and other spaces, 
I think at the at the at the heart of it, what's most important is the value you bring as a result of digital workforce. It's not about just looking at a step and automating it. Maybe you may do that when you're starting your automation journey because you want to prove the technology to your leadership. You want to give early confidence to them, which is okay, and that's what we call early, you know, low hanging fruits. But eventually, you have to keep the customer, the stakeholder. at the center and see what problem you're trying to solve what is that solution you're uh, providing are you creating more business resilience or tomorrow there is a lockdown or tomorrow there is a bcp situation my bot should be able to weather that storm and we I do not need to invoke bcp because they are resilient to these sort of situations right labor optimization with the spike coming through do i need to bring more staff in do i need to go and hire more people or bots can take care of that particular spike and the staff can continue to focus on most important faster cycle time closing it for better customer experience uh, doing it same thing faster accurately and consistently improving productivity which we spoke about at the start of the presentation as well and then responding to compliance and security needs there are many a times your new needs come through uh, how do you ensure that you're responding to those compliance and regulatory needs so that you can protect your organization from reputational risk right so that's keep that thing in mind many a times what we have seen is that customers are usually focused on just the roi which is on the hard shape i know it is one of the practical ways of measuring it but it is not the holistic way of uh, looking at it uh last slide from my side i think uh as you are familiar now with these four boxes if i go zoom out a bit uh what is important to see is that when you are on to your automation journey or your digital transformation journey it's important that you have the right lever at your disposal through which you are able to touch every aspect of your work for example a lot of smes they have got uh, you know um, from the excel itself they should be able to invoke the uh, the, uh, the bots and we do that there's a productivity pack available so automation anywhere works very closely with office 365 g suite salesforce you can just click from the ribbon of the excel to invoke the bot the bot store if you remember at the start i said we got 4000 plus customers we have learned a lot from them there are a lot of ready made bots available which are which are provided so if you go to bot store automation anywhere website you will see many bots which can be readily used you will have to tweak it a bit but it will fast track your automation journey and now we've also got internal bot stores so specific bots designed for your organization could be repurposed so you do not have to recreate these bots right and the most important is that web based uh, which means that you do not have to install big device or big uh, application on your machine to run the bots it's it's a it's a web you run it from your uh, browser which means it's easy to go right and uh, and it's cloud native as well so and this is interesting thing what we've seen since april there has been a huge uptake on the cloud offering because the organizations have felt that they want to be resilient and scalable they want to uh, ensure that the the they do not get stuck with the capital expenditure of procuring uh, the servers so they have asked if we can bring our own cloud solutions which we are doing but at the same time we are also working in a cloud enabled which is working in the hybrid scenario with them so the idea is that when you are looking at you know transforming the organization you have to look at from the end to end perspective of making sure the right processes are there the entire value chain is automated with help of rpa cognitive and bot insights the change management part where it's easier for the smes and the processes to adopt it is done with the help of productivity packs and the web based infrastructure and then bot store to fast track your automation journey right and then you bring in cloud to make the entire journey more resilient as well as more uh, scale So on that, uh, Bhavna, I'll give it back to you. I just was conscious of the time. I think I, I did it before or within my uh, time given to me. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Sumit. I I must say that we need to learn uh, time management from you as well because it was just on time. Thank you so much for being a part of the World AI Show. It was really valuable to have you today. Thank you. Thank you. All the best. See you. Thank you.